Hello. Hello. Welcome back. How are you guys? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a writing class. Cool. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, yeah. D uh, did you guys like what uh, the last class was about? Did you like his uh, poetry? Not so much. <laughs> Not so much. I'm, Why is that? The last five minutes. <laughs> You didn't what? I have been in the last five, five or fifteen minutes. <laughs> uh, so it's just more frustrating than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Okay. Well, how are you today, Slim? Not bad. It's better than yesterday. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Um, Iman, yourself, how are you? Hi teacher, fine. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. This is my last class for the day, and then I have a whole day to do nothing, so I look forward to that. Uh, and Patricia, yourself, hello. Patricia. Can you hear me, Patricia? Oh, uh, what? Uh, okay. Um, why don't you try to fix your... Take your time. Take your time. Um, okay. Let's see here. Hello, right. and hi everyone. Uh, hello, Patricia. Yeah. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Yeah. And how is your day going so far? Patricia, how's your day? Ah. Yeah. I'm very well. The day is beautiful. Okay, well, that's always nice. Okay, so, um, Aman, I see that you wrote that. Yo, whack just means you're crazy. So, yo is equal to, uh, your. Okay, and whack. Yeah, but is equal to crazy. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Might as well get into this. Uh, this class is a writing class. It talks about the differences between uh, emails and letters. Um, and so, first thing is is we are going to eventually write a letter to an editor and I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, but it's small. Can you make it bigger? Okay. Is that better? Can you see that? It's not uh, such clear, but uh, it's better. <laughs> you are going to write. Okay, it. give it a sec. Um, give it a second. Okay. I mean, I can I can make it bigger if I need to. Okay. So what this is is, um, we're going to write a. Uh, our opinion to a letter or to an editor of a magazine. And magazines and newspapers always have certain sections called editorials, um, which is where you can write a letter to the editor. These pages are also known opinion pages. Okay, And this is where um, the editor or a publisher will express their opinion about something specific. And then uh, the reader has an opportunity to talk about and to write the editor or publisher and to give them their opinion and say I either agree with you or I disagree with you about what you wrote. Okay? Do you understand this? Yes. It's like okay. feedback. Feedback or back. 
Um, is that what you call it, where you're in, in your country? Uh, no, but uh, I think in, um, it's, a, it's a turn of information about uh, the uh, who writes, uh, who, uh, how would you say, who, uh, who read the other uh, articles. Uh, what, well, may, say, well, say what you were going to say again. What, what is it called? Uh, the readers of uh, the article can make uh, some um, uh, information to turn to the the, the writer. Ah, uh, yes, yes. But usually, um, instead of just giving information, what it is is um, the the writer himself. Yeah, it is feedback. You are correct. Um, the writer himself is going to write an opinion piece. Okay, so um, the writer chooses a, a subject, decides to give an opinion on it, right? He he writes it, and then the reader decides um, how he feels about it, and then gives feedback, like you said, and either agrees or disagrees. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. okay. Uh, and so now, when we give our opinion, right? We want to have a strong argument, okay? And it doesn't matter if we're for or against it. The thing is, is we need to back up our opinion. So instead of just, I think this way, and that's it, we need to state our reasons, and we have to give detailed information with examples to back up our information. So any sentence that is not supported with uh, examples or details should be deleted because it's just extra information. Okay? okay. That's it. So, for example, why don't you guys tell me, um, just to think of off the top of your head, reasons why um, we should either use cell phones while driving or we shouldn't use cell phones for driving. Okay? List reasons yeah. for and against uh, using cell phones while driving. And you can put this in the chat box. Give me reasons why it's a good idea or a bad idea to have cell phones when driving and to use them. Do you guys want some help? Let's show the the question. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are some reasons? We for don't see it on the camera. Okay. One second. I'm gonna write it. What are some reasons for or against uh, using cell phones while driving? Depend. It depends on the way we are. Uh, we we use uh, the, this uh, the support. If there okay. is uh, some uh, safe uh, condition, like uh, headset, it's no problem. I think maybe it can be used for uh, for uh, to have uh, to reduce the time of uh, driving. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Okay, but, uh, so without headset and without the uh, safe way to use, I think is um, it's not it can be helpful. Okay, so the only way using a cell phone can be safe while driving is when to use a headset. So like Bluetooth. If you're not using Bluetooth, then it can be dangerous. So what are some of the reasons um, against? using a cell phone while driving? It causes many accidents in driving because the the driver would be disturbed with the cell phone. Disturbed. Okay. So, um, distracted Distract. away from driving. Okay. I think you should not talk on the phone because it is dangerous. You can crash while you concentrate on driving. Okay, so your concentration is somewhere else. 
So if you're distracted away from driving because you're busy on your phone, you're concentrating on your phone and not the road. Okay. Okay. What else uh, is it? Any other reasons why? Mm, nope. Well, me. Have you ever heard of uh, reaction time? Yes. <laughs> okay. So when you are, uh, I think not. You should any reason for driving while using your cell phone in a hand. If you use Bluetooth, maybe it would be better because what is the difference? And talk about just in your car. Okay, Patricia, that's a good point. Um, using Bluetooth is very similar to like talking to other people that happen to be in your car. Um, but a cell phone in your hand, right, now you have less control. You have less control of the vehicle because you're only using one hand. Um, you have less reaction time, right? So if something, if a dog jumps in front of your car, Right, you have less time to react to it. Uh, you're right. I mean, but so can um, listening to music. You know, uh, there's many things. Eating while in the car, talking to um, someone in the car, and looking at them can lower your reaction time. Um, so reaction time, and if you're doing anything except for paying attention to the road, you are losing reaction time. Okay, so that's that's good. So uh, let's see here. Okay, so before um, this guy, this guy Faisal, right? He is going to present his argument in a paragraph down below. And I want you guys to tell me um, if he is either for or against driving while using the cell phone. Okay, so remember that. Is he for or against it? And I want you to give me two reasons that he gives to support his argument. Okay, and then um, I want you to give me uh, uh, some details and examples that he uses to support his reasons. Okay, and give me what he suggested. Okay, uh, instead of driving while eating, he gave another suggestion. What is that suggestion? And last but not least, I want you to think um, what is his best reason to support his argument. So he's going to give many reasons, but I want you to think of the best one uh, that supports his argument, and then I want you to explain why you think it's his best argument. Okay, now before when they feel missed, they direct, they reduce music. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, so before he wrote his argument, right, what he did was is he came up with a brainstorm chart. So he organized his argument. And so you can see it right here. The argument is eating while driving is dangerous and should be banned. That's his argument. And now he's going to give reasons. Okay, um, eating while driving means taking hands off the wheel. Spilling or dropping food distracts the driver and is de dangerous. And now, after he gives a reason, he gives detailed examples. And he says, driving requires coordination. Unwrapping a burger forces a driver to take the hand off the steering wheel and lose control. For reason number two, he says, a sandwich will leak sauce and driver worries about their clothes um, not driving uh, roll slips onto brake uh, so like a, a, a piece of bread could slip on onto the brake or the gas pedal and cause an accident uh, and greasy food can get on the steering wheel and you have less grip and you can lose control that way so he gives a little bit of details and examples while after he gives his reason Okay, so now we're going to read it, and we're going to see how he organized his uh, argument to um, to the person. Okay, 
Let's get to it. Okay, but first, before that, what he does, um, and and this is what you do for a, uh, anything, even a cover letter uh, as well. Yeah, when you're writing um, a letter, right, you want to put um, your name and address and where you're from. You always want to date your letter so people know when you when uh, you wrote it and then you want to make sure you have who it's going to do. Okay, so put the employer's name, address, and how to get a hold of them. And then of course you always start with a greeting. Okay? Uh, and when you're finished, close it by being kind, sign it, okay? Because you're going to sign your name and then if you printed this letter, go ahead and print your name as well. Uh, and also, the very last sentence, you should say thank you for taking the time to read my letter. Um, I look forward to g getting a response back. Okay, so you do that with anything. Um, and in this example right here, it's a cover letter for a resume. Um, but you do the same thing to a letter to an editor. Okay, so he wrote letters to the editor, he wrote the date, and he wrote the subject. Okay, now here he didn't, he's writing an email. So he did not need to put um, the person's information. And he didn't need to put his information. But as you can see, uh, he did put his name and where he came from. Okay, um, but since he wrote to the letter as well, he did not give a greeting. There is no greeting because he doesn't know who he's writing to, and therefore there's no nice ending. He doesn't say thank you for reading this. Okay, so here let's read his letter to the editor. Um, Slim, can you read that first paragraph, please? Um, the letter of the you mean? Oh, eating the, the while. First. Yes, that one. Okay. Eating while driving is dangerous and it's definitely, uh, definitely should be banned. People should eat before e they get into the car so that they can focus on the very impo important job of driving. This will be safer to driver, passenger, and everyone around them. Okay, stop there. Thank you. Patricia, can you read the next paragraph, please? One of the reasons eaten while driving is so dangerous is because it's for the driving to take a hand of the steering wheel. Even through, even through it doesn't require brain power, it does require coordination. And wrapping a baguette or biking out a friend by involving taking a hand or sometimes too on the steering wheel. If something suddenly happens, which is always a possibility while driving, without having got hand on the <coughs> the drive will not have complete control. Okay, very good. Imad? No. <clears throat> yeah. Can you read the next paragraph, please? One of the reasons? Another reason. Another reason eating while driving is dangerous is that is that the food can spool or drop on the driver or a critical parts of the car. Uh, for example, uh, if someone is driving to work and eating a break uh, a breakfast a sandwich that starts to leak uh, leak sauce sauce is it sauce yes sauce okay. Okay. The driver is going to be more worried about running clothing than watching the road. Or imagine that part of the sandwich slips out slips out and onto the brake or gas pedal. A simple a simple uh, 
a circle of tear to brush it uh, brush it away with a foot could cause an accident if the food uh, if the food the driver is eating is uh, greasy it could get onto the steering wheel and uh, cause loss of control if it is, uh, if it uh, if it is hot the driver could get burnt uh, the screen something uh, something confused for me. Yeah, burn causing him or her to make a sudden move and be distracted from the most important task driving. Okay, thank you. Welcome. And last, who is this? Okay, um. Whoever is in, um, say again? Basan. Basan. Basan, can you read that last Basan. paragraph? Another thing. Or Salim, can you read that? I read? Or the other one? <laughs> the other one, please. Sal Salim, I think. Or Salom. Salim, Salim. Salim. Are you there, Salim? No? Okay, Salim, go ahead and read that. Okay. Though our lives are uh, all very busy, we should be able to find the time to have a bit before getting behind the wheel. Eating in is one of the most distracting and dangerous activity to do while driving. Taking an extra 10 minutes to eat something at home could save lives. Okay. All right. Thank you, um, all of you. So, coming back up. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba, where is it? Ah. Okay, so um, what is the argument that Faisal presents? What is he arguing about? The argument is about uh, why why do you not survive eating and other reasons? Okay, yeah, he's arguing about um, banning um, eating while driving. Um, so he is against eating while driving. What are two of his reasons that he gives to support his argument? Anybody? What are two reasons that he gives to support his argument? Can you move the paragraph, please? You want me to move it back down? Yes, I don't remember. Here's one. Okay, so what's one of the reasons? It's because it's forced in driving to take the panels. Yeah, yeah, okay. So after he gave his reason, he gave details or examples. What is one example that he gave? There's two examples out there. Does anybody know? Can someone tell me what, what the example is of what could happen if you take a hand off the steering wheel? Are you guys there? 
Can you guys hear me? Uh, <clears throat> because if there was on the street some rocks, uh, it would uh, uh, inverse the car or uh, crash it. Yeah, exactly. So just uh, by the act of um, putting food in your mouth or unwrapping a burger from its um, wrapping, you take a hand off the wheel. And then if something suddenly comes out, you have one or no hands on the wheel, and you have the possibility of losing control. What is another reason um, he gives for um, not allowing food to be in a car? Uh, the food can spill or drop on the driver. Or, uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. It can it can drop on the uh, on the driver or even on the car. And now he gives examples why this is dangerous. What's one example that he gives on why this is dangerous? Hi. Because maybe he will try to clean up her, his self or herself. Hello. Will... Hello. Hello. We can hear you. Uh, Imad, please continue. So yeah, I, I, I said he maybe when he try to clean up his himself or his car, he will uh, get uh, something bad. Yeah, yeah, something bad could happen just by him cleaning him, uh, cleaning the, the steering wheel or trying to get food that dropped into uh, where his feet are or maybe if he spilled on his shirt uh, or burned himself. You know, all of those things are distractions which takes his eyes off the road, takes his hands off the steering wheel and creates problems. So um, the main thing that I want you guys to see is that uh, he chose one. He chose one opinion. He was either for or against it, uh, and then he gave his reasons, and then he gave examples for his reasons. Okay, and so if uh, we're not going to read this one right now, how to prevent falls at home. But again, uh, this person is going to talk about the idea of falling at your house, and how to prevent it and then he gives examples on how to prevent it and that's the same thing that I want with you guys um, when you are going to write um, this informal this is going to be informal okay so what I want you guys to do is I want you to think of a subject okay that uh, maybe you read in the newspaper or you saw in a magazine or you saw on the internet and you want to write to the editor okay you want to write to the editor and you want to give your opinion on why you are for it or why you are against it um, and I want you to think of at least two examples okay so think of two examples and then after you give those examples I want you to give details I want you to give an explanation why um, this thing it was part of your reason okay and so you can you can um, you can write to me you could say I'm the editor and so you can address me as the editor hello Ben uh, I saw that you recently wrote uh, a, an article about this and I agree with you or I don't agree with you and here here is why and then give me your reasons and then give me examples to support your reasons it only needs to be about a paragraph or too long okay so um, think about your subject and if you want help I can I can try to help you guys You have to Salim? Yes. Say what, Slim? 
we have to write to write a letter. Yeah, here. Um, or email. Um, right now, let's call it. Let's make it. Um, you know what? You choose. To me, it doesn't matter. Um, either an email or a letter. More than likely, uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. What do you want the subject to be? In fact, I will give you guys instead of writing it in the chat box, I will. <clears throat> here, one second. I'm going to give you a space to write. Google Drive? Yeah, yeah. Go to Google Drive and I'll give you a space to write. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, wait a second. I think I need to give access to this. Teacher pen. Yeah. Um, so new for this. So, um, do you have a particular topic to talk about? Or? Um, well, I don't have a particular topic, but I can give you one if you'd like. Okay. Um, how about here? Okay. I'll give you three or four topics, and you guys can decide which one you want to choose. Okay, so go to Google Drive and you can talk about um, making uh, uniforms mandatory in all schools. There's one. Um, um, giving women um, condoms and birth control to control uh, the human population um, uh, gays and LBGT Else, um, and um, okay, uh, gun laws in your country in the USA should be stricter. Okay, right now, choose one of those. Um, oh, um, Video games are fine. Okay, here. <laughs> Violent? Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Okay, so choose one of those topics. Okay. And I'm allowed to write on the screen? Yes, yes. Let me okay. give you, yeah, just put your name, put your name on that screen, and then uh, just start typing there. <laughs> uh, here. Slim. Oh. Scroll down on. <laughs> Take a place for you. Here. <laughs> I have already taken one. <laughs> there you go. Come on. And uh, the person that has an Arabic name, I don't know your name. <laughs> ah, by, by shift and enter, you can uh, create a new page. Ah, uh, okay. That's good. I have a new page. Okay. 
Un sol. Can I choose another topic, teacher? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, here, here. Choose choose another one. You can create one, or uh, I can give you another one. Shh. And if you don't like any of those, you can um, choose another one that is uh, that you like to talk about. Up to you.
too.
teacher? Yes. In this case, what should I use? Wool or wood? Uh, maybe they... I uh, would. Maybe they would try to imitate. Because it's a, a, con a condition. Yeah. Con conditional. Conditional, sorry. Yeah. Okay, teacher Ben. Okay, finished. Uh, you mean that um, after I know my reason, uh, why um, I did this? Uh, I, you know, you were cutting out. I'm not sure what you're actually saying because your uh, connection is not very good. But once you understand your reasons, Yes, then you want to put it in a paragraph. Um, obviously, you only have six minutes left in the class, so you will not be able to finish it, but you can always start it. Okay, it will start. Uh, Patricia, yeah, you're you need a word here. Um, you're missing it after learners. So, um, what what word? What does it harm? It harms areas such as the learners. What what area of the learners does it harm? Patricia, do you understand? You're just missing a word here. Yes. I have done, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, a human loses his teeth. Naturally, is when. Are young. Second, if the child doesn't doesn't eat enough sweets or or candies, uh, when oh when um. 
they are young then when they become to war adults Okay, so you're saying that uh, children need to eat sweets when they're young, therefore they don't like them when they're older? Yes. <laughs> okay. <Please. laughs> okay. And uh, Patricia, um, yours is good, um, but like I said, um, you need to just think of that one word that affects the learners what? Um, maybe just brain? Oops. I don't know if that's the word you're looking for. Um, maybe they would try to imitate movies or something like that uh, to put the gun toward friends or towards an individual uh, from their family when they reenact uh, something they saw in video games or violent movies. Okay, well good job everybody. Um, the more you practice on this, the easier it will become. So just remember,